In this series, we're going to be looking at the PHP Reflection API. And in this part, particularly, we're going to be looking at Reflection class. So if I just go over to my editor here, you'll see that I have already created a user class. It's not actually functional. It isn't linked to a database or a file storage system or anything like that. But it will do for the for the series. Now we have two properties up here, both protected. We have logged in, which is equal to false by default. And we also have data, which is equal to an empty array. And if this was actually functional, that would contain things like our username and our password and our email. I then have a getter and a setter for data and a getter for logged in. So if I just go down here and we create a new instance of user, and then we can say, if user is logged in echo you are logged in and because logged in is equal to false by default we're obviously not going to see this message so refresh yep empty page but anyway that that's not what this tutorial is about if i just create a new variable called rc which is short for reflection class and i assign it to new reflection class and then we provide the class name which in this case is user and then what we can do is we can echo pre and we can concatenate on print r get class methods rc and we have to set the second the second parameter to false to tell php that we don't want to output this by automatically so if we refresh here, and oops, we need to change this to true, apparently. Yep, true. Uh, so here we'll see all the methods that this reflection class provides for us. And this is very useful. If we just take a look at some of these, we have get name. Uh, we have is clonable. So it can determine whether the class is clonable. We have get start line, get end line. We have has method, get method get methods and the same with the properties and the constants and it can determine whether the class is a trait or if it's abstract or if it's final it's great so if we just delete that and we say echo rc get name hit refresh surely enough we get the the name of the class which is user so if i just bring this back up alternatively you could browse the docs either way works so let's have a look at the has method method. We'll comment this out and we'll say if RC has method is logged in, we'll echo one just to make sure that everything works and we get one. If we set this to something else like set logged in, which we don't have a setter for logged in, we don't get anything. So let's take another look at what we can do. Um, Oh, here's something we should look at. If I just extract this class to a new file, and I just add a namespace up here, so if I say namespace acme, and then instead of user, I'm going to provide the full path, so acme slash user, and we echo rc get name, Oh, we need to include the file, so include user.php. Hit refresh, we get Acme user. Now what if we want just the name of the actual class without the namespace here? Well, we could change this to get short name, and we just get user. 